Hey, Popcorn Kit Crew. How are you doing today? I am so happy to see all of my friends. I hope everybody's been doing great. Guess what we're going to read today? Many of you have probably heard this story before. I love this story. It's an old time classic. Have you ever heard of the lion and the mouse? I love it, you guys. We're going to have fun reading this story. And let me know what you get out of this. You guys, I have to say thank you so much for all the love and all the great comments you've left. I'm so happy that children and adults are enjoying the popcorn kit. Please share this channel with your friends and your family and anyone else who you think it will empower and make smile and make happy. Do you like my, I don't know what this is, costume, hood? Well, anyway, did you tell yourself that you're the greatest today? Come on, you know how we do here. Let me hear you. Oh, it's up here. Say, I am the greatest. Did you say it? I am the greatest. Yes, you are. All right, you guys, here we go. Once upon a time, there was a huge lion who lived in a dark, rocky den in the middle of the jungle. When the lion wasn't out hunting, he loved to curl up in his den and sleep. In fact, his friends knew if he didn't get enough sleep, the lion became extremely grumpy. One day, while the lion lay sleeping as usual, a little mouse thought he'd take a shortcut straight through the lion's den. The mouse lived with his family in a hollow at the bottom of a tall tree, just on the other side of the lion's rocky home. He was on his way home for supper and didn't want to have to climb up and over the big boulders surrounding the den. What harm can it do, he thought. He's snoring so loudly. He's never going to hear me. As he hurried past the snoring beast, he accidentally ran over the lion's paw. <gasps> With a mighty roar, the lion woke up and grabbed the little mouse with one quick motion. How dare you wake me up, the lion roared angrily. Don't you know who I am? I am king of the beast. No one disturbs my sleep. I will kill you and eat you for my supper. He opened his huge mouth wide. Oh. Shaking with fear at the sight of all the lion's sharp and pointy teeth, the terrified little mouse begged the angry lion to let him go. Please, please, your majesty, he cried. I don't mean to wake you up. It was an accident. I was just trying to get home to my family. I'm too small to make a good meal for someone as mighty as you. Let me go and I promise to help you one day. The grumpy lion stared at the little mouse. Then he laughed loudly. You help me, he said scornfully, shaking his furry mane. <laughs> what ri a ridiculous idea. You're too small to help someone as big as me. The little mouse trembled and closed his eyes as he waited for the terrible jaws to snap him up. But to his surprise, the lion didn't eat him. Instead, the lion smiled and opened his paw. Whew. That was a close one. 
Go home, little mouse, said the lion. You have made me laugh and put me in a good mood, so I will let you go. But hurry before I change my mind. The little mouse was so grateful. Thank you, your majesty, he squeaked. I promise to be your friend forever and won't disturb you again. As quickly as he could, the mouse scurried home. What a story he would have to tell his children. A few days later, the lion was out hunting in the jungle. As he crept through the lush undergrowth, he smelled something delicious. You think it was our popcorn, guys? You know he can have, so can you. You can have some popcorn. Let's keep reading and see what he smelled in the jungle. There in a small clearing just ahead of him stood a goat eating grass beneath a shady tree. Uh-oh. The lion circled the clearing, slowly crawling through the tall grass. He crouched low, ready to pounce on the unsuspecting goat, when suddenly a big net fell on him. Oh my goodness. He was trapped in a hunter's snare. The goat, bleeding in terror, ran off into the jungle. The lion roared and tried to break free from the trap. But the more he struggled, the more he became tangled in the net. He was so angry that he let out a loud roar. Roar! The trees in the jungle shook with a terrible noise. Every animal for miles heard it, including the little mouse. Oh no, squeaked the mouse. That's my friend, the lion. He must be in trouble. I've got to go and help him. Be careful, my dear, cried the mouse's wife. Remember how big he is? The little mouse scurried through the jungle as fast as his tiny little legs would carry him towards the lion's mighty roar. Soon he came upon the clearing and the lion, tangled and trapped in the ropes of the hunter's nest. Hunter's ne net. I'm sorry, guys. Keep still, your majesty, cried the mouse. I'll have you out of there in no time at all. You laughed the lion. The mouse ignored him and quickly started gnawing through the net with his teeth and before long there was a big hole in the net and the lion squeezed through the ropes and escaped the trap. Yay! The lion held out his giant paw towards the little mouse. Thank you my little friend. He said humbly, bowing his huge head. I was wrong when I laughed at you and said that someone as small as you couldn't help me. You saved my life today, and I am truly grateful. The little mouse smiled up at the lion. You were kind enough to let me go before, and I promised I would pay you back one day, he squeaked. It was my turn to help you. Side by side, the big lion and the little mouse walked back into the jungle. From that day on, the huge and mighty lion and the tiny mighty mouse became best of friends. The end. What you think, you guys? This is such a great story. I want you to leave your comments on the huge and mighty and the small and the powerful. Does size matter according to what you can do to help somebody? Let me know what you think. You guys, I enjoyed sharing this story with you and I hope you enjoyed listening. You know what we have to do? We have to give a hug, a kiss,
kiss and peace and love. See you soon.